well. So um, I had an interesting experience today, so I just thought I'd come on here and share that with you today. Um, yeah, so I hope you like the view of the plant <laughs> and the building behind me. So, uh, what's today? Thursday, I had my gym class this morning and <clears throat> spent some time in the uh, jacuzzi. Jacuzzi? Yeah, the sauna and then the, in the jacuzzi. So when I was in the jacuzzi, um, there was a lady, she came in also, and she oh, was relaxing, as that was I, and I looked over at her and gave her a compliment on her um, her hair covering. She was wearing like, like a shower cap, and it was pretty, and it was like blue color, so I just was making small talk with her. And then she proceeded to ask me questions in Spanish about um, about faith and God and Jesus. So she wanted to know, uh, she was actually mm, trying to evangelize me or encourage me in the faith, something like that. So I could kind of tell by the way she was asking her questions. She said to me, in Spanish, God bless you. She asked me if I read my Bible, and she would tell me that there's two spirits, the Holy Spirit and uh, the devil, and uh, something like that. So we had, you know, conversation back and forth, and uh, there was another gentleman listening in the jacuzzi, just, you know, listening. So she was like an Asian lady. I don't know if she was Korean, Chinese, or other um, kind of Asian. And I think she was using Spanish, which is her second or third language. And I think English was like her second or third language. So, so yeah, so we had that time together. She wanted to know if I go to any church. I said no. And she encouraged me to go to church, like the Presbyterian, she said, or the Calvary Chapel. And I don't know if she knows, but the Presbyterian church down by my street, or somewhere I was doing the research, they have a female pastor. So I'm thinking, no, I'm not going to the Presbyterian church. And Calvary Chapel, I think, is probably 501c3. So I tried to explain to her how this church, the 501c3, um, is subject to this, or owned owned by the state, I think is how I explained it, and I tried to explain in a simple way, but um, I don't know how much English she really could understand, because she told me she didn't really understand my Spanish, so then I had to switch to English, even though she was evangelizing to me in Spanish, so she told me to go find a church, and I told her why I wouldn't, and I, and so um, we went back and forth a little bit, and then she said, uh, yeah, so that was good. Um, so that was my morning. I just wanted to come on here and share. Her name is, I'm not sure if I should say. No, I'm not going to say. Her initial was Y something. But I'll just say it that way. Y something. I don't know her last name. And uh, it was interesting. But everyone in the sauna, everyone in the pool area, they heard me um, preaching the gospel of Jesus Christ. And, you know, I don't know if this is biblically correct or not. So you don't have to leave a comment. But, uh, you know, I told her that I worship at home and I'm with, you know, God, Jesus, and the Holy Spirit. So there's three plus me is one, right? So where two or more are gathered, <laughs> he's there with us. And, uh, yeah, she wanted me to go to church, and I told her, well, I don't have a car. Who's going to come pick me up? And she said, I have to go find one. Anyways, but we had that dialogue. We had that conversation. And then after she left the jacuzzi, I had a chance to talk with the other gentleman in the jacuzzi. Uh, maybe he is like 60 years old-ish, 65-ish, I'm not sure. And so he told me what his belief was. And then so, excuse me, I was able to just kind of ask some questions and kind of give my input in a gentle way. I think I was pretty gentle uh, with him and encouraged him in the way. Uh, 
how do I say, you know, he thought that, oh, uh, well, as long as you believe in God, then, you know, that's enough. So I got to, how do I say, applaud him for that, but also, like, push him to the next step. Well, yes, that is true. However, what we do with Jesus Christ, how we, how we view Jesus Christ is, is the real deal, <laughs> right? So I was trying to explain to him, you know, is Jesus telling the truth? Is Jesus not telling the truth? Was he a, just a man? Was he God? Was he both? You know, and how we uh, view Jesus Christ and his claims, that is really um, more than only belief in God. Yes, belief in God is good, but also there is more. So that happened this morning. I wasn't looking for anything, but uh, God just put this in my lap because that lady <laughs> uh, responded to uh, my compliment to her. I was just making small talk, and uh, she said, "Her, she said, oh, your face looks joyful. <laughs> you have a joyful looking face, and I thought to myself, oh, okay. But I, you know, I wasn't going to engage with her, but she kept asking questions, so that's how my day went. Anyways, God bless you, and uh, thanks for listening to this testimony. May Jesus Christ richly bless you.